of the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles. Brought to you by Sean Porter Promotions. Go on. That's crazy. <laughs> How is that crazy? Because you're, you're involved in boxing. You're supposed to be everywhere. The show is ready and the filming has started, Sean Porter. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Porter Week Podcast. Okay. You know, when I don't even look like I'm ready, I'm ready. That's how I get it down. Okay, what about okay. you, Ant? Oh, I stay ready, baby. What about you, Mr. Two T's? Has anybody, has anybody walked up to you like, Mr. Two T? Nah, just like, you Ant with two T's. Now. <laughs> I accepted at this point, but I'm like, I didn't never said that was my name. You enjoy people uh, rec- recognizing I enjoy you. talking to people. So I'm, I'm, I can talk to people anyways. I'll be at, I'll be at Walmart like, you, hey, you man. you be like, I was going to talk to you. I'll, I'll hear that one time I told you. I was going to talk to this dude about something anyways. Then you recognize who I was. But yeah, I'll, you have, if you look like you're having a bad day to me in public, I'm going to say something to you. We're going to we're gonna turn that around. I'll be at Sam. You know, my new spot is Sam's Club. You been to Sam's Club? I don't go to Sam's Club. Oh, get, you got to get your Sam's Club. Nah, man, ain't nothing but that. That's an anxiety attack waiting to happen for me. Why? And I don't have anxiety too much. I used to didn't have no anxiety, but I'm what 36 gonna, now. You old. You, it's, you, you, oh, it's you coming. I'm an old it's, black man. Yeah, bruh. <laughs> you got PTSD? Yeah, I don't what? know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's just things that. My man, so I get anxiety. I used to be cool about It's like I, I don't, I'm not cool about it no more. I had to drop somebody <laughs> off at Sam's Club, and, and I was like, I was like, I'm, I'm like trying to do like shaking, like it's too much, man. Hey, the first time I knew Sean didn't shout out to Sam's Club, holla at us, the Puerto Rico podcast. Yeah, I'm up in there all the time. Uh, <laughs> shout out we to, will shop. <laughs> you. Yeah, we'll shop till we drop. Uh, but shout out to Sean. I knew I always knew Sean and liked be around a lot of different people. But one time I had a Halloween party at my house. One of the best Halloween parties ever. You agree? Uh, uh, hey, yeah, I'm not really, Hey, yeah. But it was certain things Sean did not like in my house. <laughs> what, give me one thing I didn't like uh, in my house. I don't uh, even understand. People was tipsy. Oh, yeah. I don't drink. I, I didn't, no, you don't drink. Here's the thing. And I'm not like, I, yeah, I'm a square. It is what it is. I don't drink either. I don't, I don't like, do nothing either. But you And you know me. I like you when you fun. Yeah. And some people just talk too damn much <laughs> when, they, when they drink. It was all our people, though, that was talking too much. That yeah. was real close to us. No, not me. Close oh, to you. Oh, oh yeah, I close forgot about to that. You. Hey, shout out to hey. You know, there's somebody close to you that was talking a lot too. Okay, you don't want me to call his name. Thank you. <laughs> I don't even know who that yeah, is. So. Y'all Listen, share, y'all share the same bloodline. While while we on this show, I'm I'm trying to to look up some of these rules. What's going on with this Mike mm-hmm. Tyson and Jake Paul fight? And um, I heard I heard. So I want to go on record for saying I heard okay. that they have that they're trying to. Make this a non. See right here it says use of headgear rumored. Um, there's some rumors going around that will kind of validate what I feel, y'all. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go on record for saying I don't. Th- number one, I don't think that I know it all. However, I do feel like there there are things that just happen, and before they happen, I know how they're gonna happen. I'm on record for saying this fight doesn't happen. Yeah. Um, once I heard yesterday or the day before yesterday, her Friday, that uh, the rumor is that they're going to wear 18 ounce gloves and they're going to wear a headgear. I said, oh, yeah, that makes sense. It goes from not being the publicity stunt that I thought it was going to be to being, OK, this is going to be something that they actually do. But they're going to make this as for the second word, safe as possible and also make sense for, for both guys as much as possible. As we know, Mike Tyson is 57-ish yeah. years old. Jake Paul, there's a 30-year yeah. gap there. So you do the math, 27-ish years old or whatever the case may be. How do you legitimize that? You know what I mean? Like you have to find a way to, even though Mike was who he was and did what he did and we know Jake is coming into his own at this point, you still got to find a way to make this make sense for the business, for the guys. The list goes on. And so I'm like, all right, I'm going to pull back on saying this fight don't happen. It's just a publicity stunt because I see you're going to add a headgear. That makes sense to me. You're going to add 18-ounce headgear uh, gloves. That makes sense to me. May not make sense to y'all. It may not be what people want to see, but it kind of is what it is. And this is the only thing they can do to make this fight happen. Guess what? If, if there's some issue with these rules, something like that, it goes back to blaming the publicity stunt and this fight don't happen. So you say with the rules, uh, with the headgear, so places I'm saying it says no headgear gear will be used in about between Tyson and 
uh, Paul, contrary to uh, previous. So so let me let me do what I do real quick. Okay, okay. So what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say oh, is... Oh, yo, this is going to happen. That, what I'm trying to say is this ain't going to happen. Oh, the whole event. And it's going... We've seen this so many times where... where uh, what fight fell through? And, oh, we Jake saw Paul. this... It was no, Jake no, no. Paul. No, we oh. saw this with Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson when they couldn't agree with the money. Okay. So you get one side saying, we want to make the fight happen. This is what we offering them. Mm -hmm. You make an offer that he can refuse. You're not making an offer he can't refuse. I feel like you said that about somebody else too, but yeah. yeah, yeah. So the same thing with this. Okay. They don't. Nobody wants to see Mike Tyson and Jake Paul in the ring without with the headgear on. They don't want to see Jake Paul and Mike Tyson with 18 ounce gloves. Yeah. So there's gonna be some discrepancy and oh, we couldn't make the fight happen because we couldn't make an agreement. But you done already announced the fight. You done already got people excited. Yeah. You probably done already sold some tickets. So what you do? You just choo choo. Uh -oh. And the fight never happened, wasn't wasn't gonna happen in the first place. Yeah, yeah. So. Best you get the refund. Yeah. But when does Jake should we, Paul? Should we edit that out? Was that too much? No, it, it don't really matter. We good. We keep going. <laughs> right. When when you know I get people get on me all the time. You need yeah. to start taking this boy serious. When are you gonna take yourself serious? When are you gonna stop making Jake right? Yeah, yeah. When are you gonna stop stand <clears throat> making lateral moves and start going vertical? When are you gonna really go up the ladder of boxing rankings and take on the big names? The best fighter he fought so far is Tommy Fury, and he's a D plus fighter at best. Ooh, D plus. Dang. At yeah, best. D plus. Yeah, think Dang. about it. Think about it, Sean. Dang. And you couldn't beat that dude. All the other guys was not even boxers. If I, say I don't even C count the last two. Yeah, that's tough. See, because you could C think about C minus fighters. I say C minus because it's hard for me to like. Yeah. Look at any fighter being a D, D, plus, yeah. a D or F yeah. fighter. But, like, that's like kind of... I know. But to your point, like, yeah. Yeah. That's the best you've been in the ring with. When I'm... Me personally, because I get it. I'm not knocking you. I think he's 10 and 1 now or 11 yeah, and some, 1 now. 7 and 1, yeah. And I wasn't even... I was just getting on TV. I probably... By the time I was 11 and 0, I probably had three or four TV fights. But nobody came to see me. Yeah. I wasn't making millions of dollars. You know what I mean? So he's literally doing what other fighters have done. We have all done what Jake Paul is doing. The fighters that build you up. The fighters that get you comfortable mm -hmm. with being in the ring without a headgear. The, all of the little nuances that you go through with growing into becoming a professional boxer. He's mm -hmm. doing it in front of millions of people. That's what, the separation. What happens if you would have lost when you were 7-0? That's a restart. Now you basically four zero. It would, yeah. It would. It, it, it more than likely would have been a restart. A restart. We heard. And I'm just. I'm just gonna throw it out there. We heard the rumor that uh, that uh, that Haney took an L yeah. in Mexico, yeah. and we heard about that. But it's necessary. We don't. We can't afford for somebody to see a one on the record at that point yeah. in your career. You just can't afford it. My thing was when I first heard it, I'm like, yo, he was in Mexico. It more than likely was a raw deal. Yeah. Who beating Devin Haney in Mexico? No offense to Mexico, but yeah. I, that doesn't yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's very possible that he fought an older guy that just was strong mm -hmm. and coming after him. He didn't have the experience. List goes on, but he's moved past that. Mm -hmm. If you take a, a early loss, it could do something to your career. People may not look at you the same. The list goes on. The kid's already a mega star when he came into the sport of boxing. Mm -hmm. That have been like you being on Big Brother, uh, Real TV, something like that. Bro, early in my career, mm -hmm. I was I watched this dude. It was a six round fight. I mm -hmm. watched this dude. No, no, no. It was a four round fight, and I watched this dude for three rounds. And in my mind, got the check. We good. Let's get up out of here. I come back to the corner. My dad get in my face talking about you got to you got to knock him out. And my dad saw the expression in my face, and so he. Explain to me very quickly, and my dad is a whiz mm -hmm. in 60 seconds. He said, you got to knock him out. He said, when people look at your record, they need to see knockouts on your record. You got to go out there and stop him this round. And I sucked it up. I went out there and stopped dude that round. It's People care about the numbers. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, just saying that to say this, Jake Paul at 10-1, and 11-1, wherever he is, he's doing what a lot of fighters do at this point in their career He's just under a magnifying glass. Yes. So people want to see him in the ring with real. None of us really got real. Yeah, I don't think. At this point. At this point with him, I, I would say F the real. Mm -hmm. Keep making the money, doing his lateral moves, fighting these guys. But to your point, You're, this is a lateral move, though. I know. I didn't. This is not going up the chain. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think, yeah, no. So figure it My out. My thing is, that's like, you know what I mean? I mean, I guess it's, you know, it's a business move, but you, you're you supposed to be fighting a cru- you're supposed to be, I think he's cruiserweight. Uh-huh. But you fight Mike Tyson, he's definitely heavyweight, So, yeah. you, but you don't want to f- compete in a heavyweight. Yeah. So it's just like, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's got, but also he's a businessman and he's yeah. doing it, he's yeah. making the business yeah, this move. Is, this so. is a business. It's just hard for me to ever take him. He's, it's great for the sport of boxing what he's doing because it's bringing more eyes. Yeah. But and I'll thank him for that. But at the end of the day, it's hard for me to put him as a legit fighter. And I I look at him as a legit boxer. Okay. Um, but I I I just feel like it's a long ass way from the lip to the cup in terms yeah. of him saying what he wants to do. It's mm-hmm. gonna take some time. It took all of us time. Yeah. It didn't take you time to get to the money, but it's damn sure gonna take you some time to get to that belt. Yeah. If nothing you can do, you can't do no. You can't buy your way to experience. Sean. Mm-hmm. You got to go through that experience. Mm-hmm. And do we want to waste that 10 to 15 years? Yeah. And I gave the free game. Make a make a make a belt that's just for for uh for the social media people. Mm-hmm. Make a belt that's just for them and market that for them. You still make your money and do what you want to do. You don't need to cross all the way over. Don't need to cross all yeah, the way over. You good, baby? Yeah. Keep you fight you going you going to take a risk losing to somebody that people don't know. And somebody, yeah, you gonna go up in there with a dog that really want to punish you, that know mm-hmm. how to punish you. Yeah, just for an example, everybody knows Canelo, which is why you keep saying Canelo, Canelo, yeah, yeah. Canelo. But David Benavidez, number one, I don't think that's a fight that David Benavidez really wants. But if he got called out, fight who? Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Oh, but I if he got called, Ken- oh, yeah. but if he got called out, yeah, he a dog walk. And he Jake knew Paul. how much money he was yeah, getting. He, a dog walk, he would Jake take Paul. it yeah. just to just to go on the dog walk. Yep. He go, he gonna. He and gonna, now he gonna play with his food. And now Jake pe- Jake losing the people to somebody that people don't know. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, um, I would I just want to kind of you know we can close on this right here. Uh, if there's a headgear and eighteen ounce gloves, this work this happens. Okay, if there's definitely. no headgear, no no gloves, eventually there's there's gonna be a, a mishap. But if it does happen, eighteen ounce glove headgear, Sean Porter's in the building. Work, 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 work. I'm talking about money. We ain't talking about, we ain't talking about play. We ain't playing no more. You, the podcast <laughs> No, working? you. Uh, yeah, I want you oh, to get your well, money. You know, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, there you, you oh, go. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to take the podcast wherever I go. Oh, well, so, hey. you know. Yeah. I, think, I, think I, I, I think I'm committed to Houston in two weeks. I've told too many people I'm coming. So okay. Go. All right. All you right. taking the podcast or? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Just go out there and fill it out. Okay. We should do something. All right, man, we can't do this right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, we had we had the zone last night yeah. in Las Vegas. It did not feel like there was boxing in Las uh, Vegas shout last Shay. night. He hit me up around 12, 2, asked me if I wanted to come to the fight. Man, it was uh, hanging out with the family, yeah. uh, buying a new washer out the wait on that. It was just one of those feelings. And I was thinking... Somebody hit me up the day before too. Oh, wait a minute! Can we show that promo? I'm, I'm, I hate the. I'm sorry. You good? You good? But do what we even need this promo at the at this point? That is totally up to you, sir. What you think? Promo for Jake Paul. Yeah. Go ahead and play, man. You gonna play it? Yeah, go ahead and play. Cause it. then now we gotta spend more time on it. Did All right, go ahead. It? It's good. I'm just so glad to have the honor to step I never watched. Co- Look, Coach Wade. Most ruthless champions there's ever been. This is My defense is impregnable. He wants to rip your heart out. You know, Jake, honestly, this is a huge fight. I gotta give it to you. The way you're blending two generations of boxing. Shut the fuck up. Oh. I wish you had kids so I could stomp on their testicles. Stomp on their testicles. What? I didn't watch it. Fuck off. Fuck off. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. I'll fucking kill you, lucky. Jake. Why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. You, you don't like it, turn off this station. station. And once I found out the fight was on, I had to tell my family members that Mike Tyson signed the contract, big boy. He signed the contract. Hi, Annie. Hi. What the fuck is that on your face? <laughs> uh, hey, did I tell you that I'm fighting Mike Tyson? <laughs> what if he knocks? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, <laughs> was that three? <laughs> was that three of them? <laughs> Chill out. Stop bringing up my kid all the time, man. I'll be cussing for my kid like I that. I feel like when I come over, he's going to be cussing at I'll me. I'll whoop his ass there. <laughs> Y'all wish he would cuss. I know better now than to tell on him, though. Like like what I did with Terrence. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Her, his his grandma his grandma like that. Uh-huh. Uh, I came home one time. The mom was like, "You need to get him." His grandma was like, "No, he wasn't." <laughs> <laughs> I don't play that. Hey, 
Hey, man, I'm old school. I never saw that promo. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I never saw that promo. We, we, it did get sent to what, me. What were you doing? <laughs> what, 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 why? Why are you always up in the business? Uh, I never saw the promo, but, you know, we, we can't say it anymore, man. Like, these are the kinds of things Ugh. that boxing need. They need people talking about it, about more than just the X's and O's of boxing, you know? Yeah. I think that's why probably people come to the podcast. Yeah, Because yeah. we can we do a little bit more than just talks X's and O's, and people want to be entertained by the sport, not just entertained by the punches and the knockouts and so on. So uh, kudos to, to, to Jake and um, his whole team for putting that together, for coming up with that kind of idea. Mm -hmm. That was smooth. It was it was it was it was raunchy. Bro. It, was, it was different. It was well, different. Too many f words for Sean. Yeah, yeah. But, hey, that was Tyson back in the day. Yeah. But let's move to the zone. Zone was fun last night. Uh, I must let's start with Schofield and Zero or Z whatever. Zero. What the dirtiest Zero. fight I ever seen. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> and I'm about being dirty, but my man came in with two bites on his record already. Oh, he came in with two bites. Two bites. Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's two like, bites on his record already. It's like taking your dog to the to the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you know, can we keep him in the record? Nah, he got two bites on his record. Hey, yeah, my man came with two bites on his record. Schofield, you know, I think it, we've said it time and time before. It reminds me, of, it's every time I'm watching my scene, I'm looking at a young you. Yeah. Uh, you know, great feet, movement. Make a, a lot of young mistakes like you was making. Yep. I can see when he about 30, Sean, yep. he's going to be something special. Yep. Does have a little more power, mm -hmm. but like make a lot of young... <laughs> no, no, I ain't, ain't disrespecting you. I'm just saying. A little more power. I, I'm just saying. Are you, are you, I'm just saying. You went too deep with the comparison. No. Oh, yeah, I was comparing. So I was like, is he faster than Sean? No, I think Sean got <laughs> him faster than him. <laughs> but no, nah, because the baby fro and everything, they need to grow it out more. I, I go all in. <laughs> he need to do like uh, what you call him did with the... With the my, uh, Lead thing, start coming out dressing like you. Mm -hmm. But no, now, uh, no, that's too much. <laughs> that's, too much. that's too much. He uh, got his own style. He's got his. He got his own kid Austin. technique and things like that. But yeah, like to your point, he, you know, we could see a lot of flaws that's expected at this point is in his in his game. Mm -hmm. um, he came out and trained with me before. Did you know that? No, I didn't. He trained with me when I was getting ready for Terrence Crawford. He was like seeing a mirror. He no, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, but he uh, he probably came in maybe about yeah, maybe about five or six weeks before I fought. Before okay. I fought Terrence, something like that. Yeah, we sparred a little bit, all that kind of stuff. Super um, excitable kid, like yeah. literally a kid, kid Austin. Um, Excited about the sport. Excited mm -hmm. about being a professional athlete. <clears throat> he spent time about around a lot of different um, fighters, a lot mm -hmm. like Devin Haney. He's kind of bounced around different Soaking gyms. Game. And just yeah, just picking up the game and, and and all those kinds of things. I don't know much about his amateur background, but I do know he you know he's got a deep amateur pedigree. And um, you know at this point, like I said on a uh, shout out to Pro Box TV, I said on this show last week. You know, he's doing what he's supposed to do with what's in mm -hmm. front of him. Like like you always like yeah. to say, not playing with your food. Yeah. He don't play with his food. Yeah. I felt like he was a little he he wasn't as sharp last night as he as he usually is. Yeah, lunging a lot not setting up a lot of stuff. I don't think it was the other guy. I think it think? was uh uh. I think it was it could have been Vegas, could have been the moment, wanting to get some a big highlight reel. Mm -hmm. But he still his speed looked a little off. He didn't seem sharp. And I, 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 I don't want to start any rumors or anything like that, but I'm interested to see if there's anything that comes out after the fight or, or in, the, in the interview, under the weather, hard time making weight, uh, didn't eat right, you know, sick before. Took a deep the, cut early, first round. And he did get, yeah, and he, he said he fought the whole fight without being able to see. Yeah. So that could have like done a little thing, that, something yeah. to rattle. I'm simply saying I've seen this kid be like, extremely razor sharp, especially against guys like that. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like it was this guy. I felt like there was something just a little off about him. You know what I mean? So Yeah, and still got the win last night. And yeah. He's one of those kids, Keyshawn Davis, all those, Ryan, Tio, we seen him grow right from our eyes. Twenty one years old, seventeen yeah. and oh. Yeah. So like when you seen the, the lunging and things like that yeah. last night. <clears throat> 
I think that that was just a case of wanting to do something big. Get the big knockout. And I think that it, it probably took this fight for him to recognize, man, I still need to settle yeah. down. Work the jab a little bit more. I didn't see the... I know, um, I know Jamel, why don't you show his... So Jamel's uh, tweet last night. They, they was tweeting last night, and a few people tweeted said he he they remind uh, Kid Austin reminds them of me. I do definitely see the similarities yeah. and things like that. But one of the things that Jamel said, he said I like to see him use his jab more. Mm -hmm. The jab was set up. set up. The jab, the jab would take away the lunging. You know what I mean? Got a good leap. I think left you hook. fixed that. With is that Absolutely. Yeah, you started throwing it in the jab. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what it took for me though? What? It took me seeing myself. I watched fighting myself and I seen myself lunging. And I was like, "Yo, that's so ugly." Yeah, yeah. Was, I can't be ugly like and that. And it no didn't. More. It probably didn't help against Paulie. No, yeah, lunging, like like yeah. seeing it against Paulie. Like damn. It it was like like people were like, oh, you were so vicious. You was this. You was that. I was like, yeah. Like I remember how I felt, but it still should have been cleaner. You yeah. know what I mean? So something like that will will cause you to kind of fix and realize like, yo, I'm 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 great, but mm -hmm. I could be even better than I am. And then and then we got we got a show. Shakira Stevenson's tweet real quick. <laughs> Overly aggressive bum. Don't compare him to Sean. <laughs> don't care about him to Sean either. Sean way better with his skills than this. Yeah, I mean, I don't know when Shakira started watching me, but there was a point in my, my career where I, I looked a lot like that. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> the Paul like and Nazi fight. Yeah. Paul, yeah, stop talking about <laughs> You got the knockout. Yeah. Was, I'm just saying, that's how you look. But... Like it, I say, stop talking about the poly fight because that was like, like the, like the damn near middle of my career, where stuff like that shouldn't have been happening. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, but it, it takes you seeing yourself to correct some of those errors. And he and, will learn and get better. And that that kid, uh, I like him. I, great feet, the power. I just oh, just see, young. that's another thing. What? And I'm sorry, like I don't want to start rumor or anything like uh -huh. that. His energy seemed a little off too. Uh -huh. It could it could have been the cut. But I'm used to seeing him smile. I'm used to seeing yeah, him be like more charismatic. I just didn't see it last night. I'm sorry. I just I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to crack any I'm codes. Just saying, you could <laughs> just get, his crush could have been dating uh, Julius down the street. You never know. <laughs> what you never are you know talking? What happened. You know, you had young, yeah, you young women problems. Yeah. Hey, back then, <laughs> when, hey, no, no. When you were 20, 18, 20, a woman broke your heart, man, broke you down. <laughs> With Julius, I'm, though? I'm just, I just think of a name real quick. <laughs> Julius. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't want to read into anything. I don't want, again, like, I don't want to start any rooms. I do want to talk to him. I tried to get him on the show today, but I wasn't able to uh, get, no a, get a hold of him. So hopefully I, I can get him on next week. But definitely a talent. Man. And um, he, he earns, kind of like, you know, we've been talking about him for a minute, too. Like, he, he yeah. earns... The 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 re, the 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 respect of being talked about yeah. at this point, you know. Yeah, no, he's about to be a problem in the lightweight, yeah, lightweight 35. division. Yeah, yeah, he's he's coming and yeah. he's bringing hell with him. Yeah, that's a, a tough night. It's, I, 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 just like people start dodging you, I will dodge him. Hey, too, too soon for Shakur Stevens. Don't don't what? It's too soon. For him? For him. Oh, yeah. I'm about to say, Shakira, work him. I thought, <laughs> uh, I thought no, no. you meant uh, him uh, fight Shakira. It's too easy. Beat Shakira. Say it again. You said Shakira what? Shakira, Shakira work, work him. him. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's too soon. That's for food Shakira. right now. Yeah, it's too yeah. soon for, for, for that kind of fight. You can be explosive and, 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 and I mean, all that kind of stuff, but, you know, some, it takes, you got, you're going up another level, you know? Shakira, AK, Master of Distance. Yeah. That's yeah. his new name, Master of Distance. You will be leaping and people, out of the ring people, trying to catch. Yeah, trying people, to catch people are like, oh, that, that's stupid. Yeah, yeah. Get up in there with him. We See, how, that's leaping out of the ring. We should have had him on the day, huh? Shout out to Shakira. Call him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? What's his name? Uh, Wallow. Right? Yeah, Wallow. Don't do that. Yeah, because him and Terrence got a problem. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, he he, right here did he do that when he was there? No. no, no. Yeah, he was yeah, close Wallow. to it at one point. Yeah, Wallow always yeah. calling people while you're on the spot. But yeah, shout out to Shakira. Uh, in the Cameroon, in the main event. Man, Maxi um, Hughes and William Zapata. I like Zapata. Yeah, that's. Man, that boy. Uh, he may have lost the first round, and that was it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sean, it's so much. He up may top, have lost up the top. first round. Maxi is doing every uh, a download. The shots is coming from, and his work rate is ridiculous. Yeah, I don't see. I mean, he only went four rounds, maybe. Yeah. The work he rate was really just, bro. For the record, he don't really slow down. That's every fight. That's that's him. That's a lot, bro. That's a. It is a lot. That's a lot, bro. <laughs> like, come on, man. Come on, you can't. Like, you can, When does this go slow down? <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> Bro, yeah, that's a lot, man. 30 and 0, 26 KOs. 
After last night, uh, Williams of Pay is, is definitely a problem in the lightweight division. Uh, a kid that like literally has had to work itself all the way up. To yeah, the I, I don't want to down him before I down him. But yeah, yeah, like just for the record, like has literally had to work his way to the mm -hmm. top, and it's one of those things. If you get the right fight, you you could capitalize and become a world champion mm -hmm. because you had to take that hard road and seeing everybody else be rewarded and get the things that you want. You take or you get the the right matchup. You he he definitely is oh, yeah. world championship caliber. Yeah, and I yeah. think <clears throat> fights like like uh, see, I had an opportunity to uh, to broadcast him either in 2020 or 2021 mm -hmm. on Ring City, and it was I believe oh, okay. it was 2020, and so that we're three years past that, well, four years past that now, more like three because that was the end of 2020, but we're three years past when I commentated him, and he's still at the same level. Mm. So gotcha. he's world championship level. He's just still fighting guys like Maxie Hughes because he's you know he has had to take that long road and uh, wait on the right opportunity. So I, I think that opportunity should come soon. The question is, who would it come up against? And this is where Ant comes in. Man, somebody asked me. They say, "Yo, why you got that dude on the show?" I was like, "Yo, he he he's you know, but is he worth? Is he what is he worth?" Tell them what you worth, man. Show them what, show them what you worth. What you mean, man? I bring, I bring a lot to the show. I bring, on, I'm now. the comic relief. Why you put that down? Yeah, because I ain't got to talk about, I ain't got to talk about that <laughs> no more. You took it first, though. Hey, over here. I talking. made that shit up. No, <laughs> no, no, Come on, did. man. Ain't nobody uh, said that about you. No, no. The kid, man, lightweight. Don't, hey, I mean, after the fight, he called off, call out Shakira. I should have watched this. Stay, stay away from that. I missed it. Stay away from that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I got a couple other fights for him. I liked him. After uh, go up the Ryo chain, you, get Ryo. Hold up, let's stay there. Okay, you stay away from Shakur because that is Shakur's kind of fight. However, remember I said I want you to give yeah, me like okay, the, the, the the hardest fight, the easiest fight, and then the fight that's super entertaining. That's a hard fight for for Williams that, to pay. That's what I have on as my hard fight. But it could actually be a hard fight for 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 Shakur as well. Who who Zapata. <laughs> Shakur on the off night because he him. don't slow down. I don't care. You got to take that into account. I, I don't. I, yeah. Uh, okay. You're gonna be swinging the air too. Yeah. Master of distance. Listen, man. He's gonna school that boy. Listen. I re rewatch any fight of his. The kid has balance. The kid moves it's when he punches. Things. Style makes this right. That's a bad style. That's for a, him. That's a great style for both of them. That's a that, for him to fight for both of them. He's not gonna be there, Sean. I'm, he is not gonna be there. He is like a pit. He, nah, he's like a pit sniper. I don't even know. You know how many steps back you gotta take against this kid, and you gotta be ready to turn and keep moving. That's a whole and lot to deal gonna, with for one. And night. this dude, okay, you gotta catch. You gotta catch Shakir. You're gonna be taking counter shots. He gonna hit you with some shit to make you respect him. No doubt. That's it. I love the fight. Oh yeah, okay. I don't know if you can tell, but I yeah, love the yeah, fight. Yeah, that's a good fight. I love the fight. All right, I mean, easy. that's the hardest fight. Hard, hard. You got that, that that's the hardest the fight toughest for him? fight for. Him? Uh, I think Tank Davis is tough. Is the toughest fight for him because Tank is a counter puncher with power. That's an entertaining fight. I'm not saying because they're gonna be on. there. They're gonna be there swinging, swinging. I don't think so. You think, think Tank gonna be on the D? I think that's like that's pause because like... I know y'all gonna be... <laughs> defense because I already know y'all wild like that, man. <laughs> Dang, like man. You pause yourself because pause. I know, man. <laughs> like, I know. Uh, um, Tank. Damn, what is his? Uh, damn, what is his name? Uh, shit, because I was thinking about him earlier too. Uh, shit, it's on the Lightweight? tip of my tongue. Yeah, um, he. Uh, they already fought. It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, her. her, her. Uh, Hector? Nah, they, he knocked him out. Uh, oh, Roley? No, the one before Roley. Oh, Jose? I mean, no. uh, the. the da, 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 yes. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Come here, Santa Cruz. Day. Little Santa Cruz. Like, yes. Oh, man. Why did I say dot, dot, dot? I kept saying, like, Julio was the only thing where I was like, yeah. his name is not Leo Julio. Santa Cruz. That's a Leo Santa Cruz type of, type of matchup. But he actually going to be. One more power. Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one more power. Yeah. But, but, okay. but Leo has some staying, too. Does he? Yeah, Leo definitely has some sting. Sting? Yeah. It hurts? Yes. Leo Santa Cruz? Yes. Leo Leo at 126. Leo at 130. Oh. Was stinging, was stinging him. You sure? Absolutely. Oh, okay. No right. doubt. All right, shout out to Leo. Stinging him. <laughs> One of my favorite fighters. Go, go check his resume. Stinging him. Okay. Right. But that's, to me, that's the kind of like, that's how that fight would look. 
Where, tank, Tank. Where, I, and, sh- and shout out to my boy Timothy Bradley, where at some point I could see Tank parking him in the corner. Shout out to Timothy Bradley. No, he is going to park him. Er! That's my point. So that's the toughest fight for him. Okay, I just wasn't. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I just brought up because. Yeah. And then the easiest fight, I got two of them. Ryo. Uh-huh. And George Cambosis. Oh, and the Cambosis fight is a that's a that's a fight that's that that could be made. Yeah. Cambosis is in camp getting ready for um our guy. Uh Lomachenko. Yeah. So that's not an immediate fight that we could see, but I think that that fight is 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 doable. A name and you know, it's definitely yeah, a step yeah. into that world and, title. And I think that that is an easy fight for him, yeah. And then a fun fight that I would love to see. Yes. What's the fun fight? Kid Austin. Ooh. Versus Zapata. That is a fun fight. That's an entertaining night of boxing. That Sean. is a fun fight. Yeah. That's so a, a good boxing yeah. match right Schofield there. Schofield versus uh, that's Zapata. Fun. Yeah, that, now, that's, now that's a good night. It's too, I, is it too early? I feel like. Maybe a little too early. Give him about a year. You talking about, two, you for, talking about Schofield, Schofield, right? Yeah. Because yeah. he's still coming into his own as a boxer. Yeah. And one, it's one of those things, like, get him now. I'm going to tell him. a true story. Okay. <clears throat> true story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell a true story because a lot of what you guys saw from me uh-huh. at the end of my career, definitely in training. I had a lot of that in training. Like, what I'm saying is I boxed. I did everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I, I did everything in training. When we went to, to the fight... A lot of times the aggression just took over because I could see guys couldn't handle it. And it was just like, yo, I'm staying on you. I'm getting you out of here. But the movement, the boxing and stuff like that you've seen later mm-hmm. in my career, that was stuff I did religiously in camp, in, in, in the gym. When we first started going to L.A., I'm not going to say his name, but it was somebody that I did not like at Wild Card. And he probably, he, I'm sure if he I, watching, I somebody, they, might know, they might know who I'm talking about, but... I hated going to the gym because I was gonna have to spar him. Oh, because he was giving you tough he work. He was he was older. He was he just had he just was a veteran boxer, a wizard. And I would outbox that dude for three or four rounds, and they like, yo, we going six today, we going eight today, and I slow down with my young self. Mm. I slow down. This body work getting to me. He won't stop coming at me. I mean, I'm doom doom sharp as ever, <laughs> and he's just still in my face. I hated going to the gym sparring. Almost broke you. Almost broke me. <laughs> At least you admit it. But my dad, but my dad is that good as a coach. Yeah. My dad said, you know what it's going to take? Yeah. You got to hit him in the mouth and make him respect you. You're going to have to oh. sit down on some of these shots and stop him from coming after you. That's what it takes being a professional boxer. Yeah. You ain't an amateur no more. You can't just speed and move and speed and move. Yeah. Eventually, they're going to catch up to you. It took me having experience. What I'm saying, I had everything that y'all saw at the end of my career, but it still took me experience, learning how to use it. Schofield, if you think you're ready now, you may not be as ready as you think you are. Mm -hmm. It takes you having experience to just know when you know. And when you know, you know. Right now, me personally, you said the same thing. I think it's another year or two before he's ready for somebody like that. With that kind of pressure, that kind of style, that won't stop, that can take a punch, you know, and the list goes on. And it's just one of those things where it's like, man, you're you're good now, but you're not great. Yeah. And it's just one of those moments where you hit, you peak, and it's 26, 27, Sean. Yeah. That's when y'all peak? Yeah, that's what and I then, think. It's like it's a wrap. Yeah, it's this is this is gonna be tough. Yeah, it's a wrap. So, what we got? Uh, Devin Haney at twenty four or twenty five now? Yeah, yeah, he's around there. Twenty four, twenty five, yeah. and he hit his peak early. How did he hit his peak early? The same way Schofield can hit his peak early. Getting so much experience, moving around America, being in the ring with so many legendary coaches and legendary fighters, and getting all this experience, loving what you do. And not 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 stopping, not taking breaks and things like that. That's how Devin is in his prime at 24, 25 years old. Cause he just loves it. He picked up all the game and he continues to grow. And it's, you know, that's what that's what could happen to Schofield. He could hit his peak earlier than a lot of fighters. I think Devin has one of those careers that that is a perfect boxer career. Yeah. In life. I mean, shout out to BH, you know, Bill. He did certain things to make that happen, but the way they move, never having to sign to nobody, Sean. Mm-hmm. I know Floyd was like, yeah, I'm about to sign this boy. 
He never, ever signed a Florida. You would never believe this, bro. Like, I've been in my... Since we had him on the couch, Bill, I've been ironing clothes, thinking to myself, how the hell... Are they where they at without signing with anybody? I was thinking about I'm that I'm arguing with myself. Yeah. I know I'm they signed. <laughs> I'm trying to figure <laughs> it out. Hey, uh, some low keys. They yeah, 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 I'm trying yeah. to figure it out. Yep. But you know, like again, like just real quick, all respect to Bill Devin Hayden. and his and yeah. Bill because it's uncommon. That's Sean. it's so uncommon that even me as a Hall of Fame fighter, I'm like, yo, how is this possible? It's funny you say you've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about that the last Can two I weeks. Can I say that yet? Or I gotta wait. Go ahead and say actually... it's official, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Go ahead and say it. What if something happened? They cancel the man. We gonna have our own ceremony like <laughs> T.O. did at his old high school or something. We gonna have our own ceremony in your backyard. I I'll bring you up. Yeah, but go ahead. What were you gonna say? Uh, I was just saying it's funny you was thinking. I was been thinking that too. I'm like the last couple of weeks. I'm like, dang, he was around Floyd. Floyd Dad was his trainer. He was around uh, Judah, bunch of people that you thought, okay, he signed with them. Top rank, the zone. I don't, I don't feel like he was ever. I don't know, cause I, I mean, I haven't been around as long as you. I don't know if he was real close to PBC and uh, like that. Not to the best of my knowledge. Yeah, it just seemed like he it's ever been, was. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he ever. The closest was. probably was Floyd. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So I just <clears throat> knew one day I'm like, dang, Floyd gonna have him and Tank on the money team. Yeah. That's crazy, but yeah. my man, nope. They kept did it. They yeah. did it. Dig self, they way, and they're at the top of the sport right now. Yeah, and only way being damn near the face of the sport if nothing happens. You were not here when we talked about the tweets that came out and the 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 sparring that Ryan released of yeah. of uh, Devin and yeah. Tank. Did you watch the sparring? Yeah. Was you like cringing a little bit? No, I said, "Where's the rest of it?" <laughs> Yeah, like where's the beginning? Listen, like you know, yeah. It's like when I watch kids' highlights tape. I'm like, let me go watch the whole game. Yeah. I want to see what you do from <laughs> the one, one play to twenty. Uh -huh. Don't don't show me one six ten nineteen. My dad, we back in the day, he showed me a highlight kid of a running back in high school. Yeah. His highlight reel. I looked at my dad. I said, Why every play he doing good? <laughs> That's it. My dad said it's a highlight reel. That's all it's supposed to be. Yeah. I said, I don't want my highlight reel to look like that. My dad but, said, you ain't going to college. Yeah, 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 you got to have it look like that. But I always thought, like, I want people to see the yeah, good and yeah, the bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I I, I know I'm pretty sure uh, in that Tank had a big moment where he could have stopped him. But they also seemed like a lot of people agreed that at the end Tank got tired and uh, Haney turned it up. Yeah. So it sounded like we had a fifty. It sounded like we had a draw to me. That was a draw. <laughs> so we we got to run it back. That's what it sounded like we had a draw. Who scores sparring? <laughs> so you have people scoring sparring. I'm at <laughs> Oh, okay. I thought people said your sparring like, hey, Sean, you lost that round. Yeah. People do that. No, nobody does that. But, but you people do that. My dad, like, we would go yeah. back and it's like. You this dude been getting off on you every every day in sparring. Like you haven't won. My dad would be like, You ain't won one sparring. Yeah, I know, I know. I already know. <laughs> you ain't won right. one sparring. You lost session. every round. I know. Yeah. You ain't won one sparring session. Shout so. out them black dads. They always gotta tell you they 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 push you, boy. <laughs> what else we got on the docket? Uh we got uh we talk about the tweets or talk about I'm not even gonna front. Look, I said I said we might even get to a point during this show because we ain't really got much to talk about today. I said we might have to actually cut and find something to talk about. What you mean cut? We, we always got something to talk he about. Said, what you mean cut? We won't cut. It won't cut, baby. We just keep going. Uh, Zapaya, uh, what's coming up next week? Oh, we. I wanted to. Um, what's where, where you got William Zapaya to rank that? Mm. Who's your one and who's your two? That's an even better At question. At one thirty five. Who's your who's your one, two, and see, your three? I, see, my problem with one thirty five is I keep putting Tank in one forty. Why? For, for, I, because I'm just like go get go get go get that work. So I am right, in, in this ranking. Tank is at one thirty five. Shakira's at one thirty five. Yeah. All right, all right. So Tank, Shakira. Uh, I'm gonna cheat here. I'm gonna go with Frank. At three. Ooh, are you? Yeah, I'm going to go with Frank at Ooh. three. Hold on, hold on. I might be tripping, but I don't think I'm going to go with Frank at three. Uh, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that either. <laughs> uh, Zapata at four. Mm -hmm. hmm. A lot of people might, you know, people might get mad at me on this one. Keyshawn Davis at five. Ooh. 
Ooh, Keyshawn at five. Keyshawn Davis at five. Hey, you you know who where, where the zone won't won't uh what uh oh oh Andy Cruz Andy at six. Cruz. They here. they want Andy Cruz <laughs> at, at four. So you better you better uh you better, uh, you better uh, relook at your uh, list. Uh, Andy Cruz better keep fighting. That's what you <laughs> yeah, I got so yeah, I got a tank. I go tank, man. But then. You still got Lomachenko out there. Yeah, I'm about to say. at the end of his career. Yeah, Lomachenko. What, two I, I would losses have Lomachenko now? at six. Three losses. Yeah. I would have Lomachenko. So I'm still going with Tank, Shakur, Frank, uh, Zapata, Keyshawn Davis. What about Isaac, uh, Isaac no, Cruz? No, no, Pitbull. No, he, he, he's at, he's a, ain't he at 140? Pitbull, he fighting yeah. at 140 for a belt. Is this fight at 140? Yeah, for a belt. Roller oh. Romero. Oh. We, we, we preview on that next week, ain't we? Uh yeah, we still got time. We still got time, but why you you are you excited about this fight? We we can get into it a, a little <laughs> bit if you want to. Um, that's not a problem. I was at <clears throat> shout out to Knuckleheads Boxing. That is um Sean Gibbons boxing gym that, that he has out here. Okay, yeah, we we went and did that promo over there yep. once upon a time ago. Uh, I hope y'all been enjoying those promos too. By the way, I yeah, just yeah. Be, somebody said y'all wow. I be kicking it, just be watching them yeah. and laughing at them. Like, <laughs> what the fuck y'all doing? Like, I can't. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I love those opportunities. So, thank you, DraftKings, for giving those, yeah, giving man. us those opportunities. But um, I was talking to uh, Sean's son, and I was telling him that this fight's gonna end in the knockout, and I don't know who's gonna get who first. It's hard for me to see. Isaac Cruz going to sleep. Mm -hmm. But the thing with Isaac Cruz is he's a straightforward fighter. Mm -hmm. And the thing we did see for Roley against Tank, Roley moved and had timing against Tank early in that fight. Mm -hmm. When we saw him move forward when he had Bar uh, Barroso, yes. <clears throat> he moved and it seemed like the, the residue of what happened with him and Tank, he, now he's just a lot of bouncing around and a lot of moving without actually punching. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, if he could come to the ring with that version of Tank that he that he was, um, with that timing yeah. and the punch that we know he has, yeah. he's gonna be strong at 140 now, you know? Yeah. He was sucking down to 135 and coming in there leaning dudes. Yeah. But he wasn't leaning dudes based on him being bigger than him. He, a lot like Keith Thurman, he just has natural punching mm -hmm. power. At 140, that same punching power, more energy because he's a little healthier, a little more fit, things like that. It's but it's hard for me to see this dude right here getting slept. It's so hard for me to see him getting yeah. slept. And so my thing is on the other side of that, mm -hmm. if Roley just moving, 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 he's gonna corner you at some point. And we've seen Roley do that. Roley will after the movement, he'll just get he'll get more. I call it lazy boxing. Where I'm gonna stop moving, I'm just gonna lay here and let you throw some punches, and I'm gonna try to grab you. That lazy boxing is gonna get him in trouble. Uh, you say that about Roley. If Roley comes to the ring with the prep, the focus he had versus Tank, he wins. Thirty, Sean. That was like the most focused Roley I've I've seen in a long time. I think I seen Roley one time. That was, did pretty good, but it was he was so I locked feel like in Roley for that, got that coat in every color. Oh, because he, yeah, he got it. He got that code. Like, yeah, why are you right? hating? I'm not hating. I'm uh, not hating. Oh, okay. I'm not hating. But uh, yeah, if Roller could come in locked in, this could be, he could win that night, that night and do what he got to do. But that meant that, that pit bull is on you all night like a real pit bull, Sean. But again, we've seen from pit bull, if you moving and you can box, he can't touch you. Yeah, I think the last guy gave him hell. <laughs> yeah. Gave him hell. Pull, yeah. He, pit bull pulled it off, but that if, if, yeah, the, don't have, no lazy moments for Roley. Can't have no lazy. One moments. lazy moment, it's over. Cause we seen this from from Roley Lee recently, man. He, that punch resistance ain't what it ain't. It ain't. It just ain't. <laughs> is it? Is it ain't or is that it hasn't? Is ain't after that big knockout he took? I I, th I personally think it's ain't after the knockout. Okay. I I don't remember ever seeing him, you know, light on his feet at any other point in his career that that I can remember. Yeah. But the fact that. He just, and again, that's a grown man at 135 yeah. pounds, Barroso. Like, that's just a different, it's a different kind of punch because he's a grown man, like an old ass dude hitting you. Is that old man strength, yeah. you know what I mean? Is there a saying, like, after you get punched, hit like that? 
There's something it takes something off you. Or it's I don't know? it's it's health and it's also psychological. Okay. So, like, think about like a car crash. Yeah, yeah. When, yeah. You, when get, you get when you get into a car crash, yeah. the next if if anything yeah. starts to even happen, you close your eyes. You like yeah, yeah. you know like you you flinch. Yeah. And you it's like you tighten up. Yeah. And so like kind of the same thing when you get when you get stopped when you get knocked out cold mm-hmm. and things like that. Now you find yourself clinching. Cause it's like that PTSD or like you know that car crash where you know I, I here it comes I mm-hmm. see it coming you know what I mean and so it, he's got to relax. The other side of that is the health, and not everybody's built for this. Yeah, we've seen guys that's just ripped up from the flow up and they just and not. Built it's the not box. a. It's not everybody. No one. Everybody's not built for this. No one's built for this show. You're yeah, not. Well, you wasn't born to get punched in the face <laughs> over on now. and over and over <laughs> again, man. You sound like my dad used to say that to me. It is, I mean, it's just yeah. the truth. And then yeah. eventually, your body say, "It's enough, man." Yeah. It could be twenty two. Yeah. Could be thirty two. Yeah. Be forty two. And that's the thing that that people have a hard time connected to. Again, we've only seen this happen to Roly one time. Mm-hmm. And you telling me, you telling me based on one time, now he ain't got. He can't. Every time he chinny after one yeah. time. Same thing with uh, Amir Khan. He became known as being a chinny boxer. Yeah. We don't know if that's just who he was, or how his how his makeup as a human being is, and he and he got caught by P- Brady Prescott. Okay. And from okay. that point forward, yeah. if anybody caught him, or we don't, or, or was it that particular fight that yeah. did the damage? That now every time he gets hit, there's no punch resistance. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So. I think going back to what I said about being built for this, you're right. Like we're not truly built to to, yeah. to sustain punishment. However, I think some of us are built to do what we do. We have that in our DNA mm-hmm. where we can just make it through things, and and the list goes on. You know. So and and the best way <clears throat> advice I have for Roly, if you have a fear or PTSD of being knocked out again, best way to deal with fear is face it. Face it. Fight through it. Yeah, go head on. You got to fight through it. You got to do what you got to do. One thing I do, he got a juggernaut, Sean. Salas. He got a new... Oh, he, he is up, with Salas. He upgraded like a... For, for <laughs> trainers. No disrespect to Bullet. Yeah. Bullet, Bulletproof. Bullet. Bullet. Okay. <laughs> bullet. Um, okay. Right. S- somebody when I'm in jail, I want him on my side. That's all I know. <laughs> but uh, shout out to Bullet. Uh, but Salas is a hell of a trainer. Yeah. And I want to see the new Roly mm-hmm. working with Salas. Yeah. If he can, because I remember Roly the last fight we was there, and you was giving him tips, and I felt like other people wasn't giving him tips that you was giving him. The number one tip that I was giving him though was what you just said. You gotta, he said, you gotta fight, you gotta fight through it. What was the, what was the, what's the way you said it? The well, face fear. You gotta, face, you gotta yeah. go to yeah, it. Yeah, That's what you yeah, said, right? You gotta attack fear. You gotta go to it, and that was the all the only thing I was telling him. Mm-hmm. Throw your right hand. Go, just go. You fight him. You are gonna hurt him. Mm-hmm. You are gonna get him out of there. You gotta get Roly to get past the fear of the, mental, the return. Mental block. Yeah, because let's remember when that car accident happened. Mm-hmm. He it happened from him throwing. Mm-hmm. So now that's where people talking about. Oh Man, yeah, he yeah. he's he gun shy. He's scared to throw because he's scared of the return. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So. Damn, we we just educated y'all. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> talk, but Salas, I think Salas gonna have him right. Gonna come in with his uh, twelve inch f- shoes. <laughs> and uh, I was wondering, I was like, I wonder if Sean went by there and checked on Rose. No, no, but, no, no. I'm gonna go. Funny you ask. I was thinking about going to some gyms this week. Okay, well, make you make your rounds. Yeah. Give us some tips. Bring back some info. No, I ain't gonna do that. Okay, I'm trying to get uh, my that. boy Dane to go down there and check on Keith. He he ain't make it yet. <laughs> Usually, he's always down there. <laughs> Keith got a new trainer. I know. I don't, I don't like it. Okay. I don't like it at all. I don't know if that's inside details, but I I released it. I don't know the guy. So this is He's been in his camp before. I know. He's always been in his camp. And so this is just 100% just straight up judgment (laughs) on my behalf. But I just, I feel like, you know, where I come from, there are some young coaches out there. Shout out to Julian uh, out in uh, in L.A. He came up under the tutelage of of, um, Freddie Freddie Roach. Roach. So Julian just is a awesome trainer. Julian ain't 35-ish. Mm-hmm. You know, we're about the same age. There are some young coaches Red out there. Man. There are some some young men out there that can teach it better than they can do it. You know oh, what I mean? Gotcha. And so, but I me not never seeing any experience of this other guy, I'm worried about just that. Do you have experience when it get when it get hot in there? In a world championship fight. Because a lot of coaches <clears throat> 
once their game plan isn't working, they don't know what to do. Mm. Once they don't see what they've been effective doing, once they see that not being effective, they don't know what to do. And what you can't have is a young kid in camp and you seeing it be so effective and, and, and successful in camp and then you get into the fight and it's not effective in the fight and you don't know what to do. And it's one of those things where you got to be thinking so fast. That's why we talk about the coaches the way we do. The coaches think just as fast as the fighters. Mm -hmm. And I told y'all about my dad. My dad is a whiz in 60 seconds. I could I could do a whole show telling y'all about some things my dad has said to me in just 60 seconds that has gotten me where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. And that's what you got to be able to do as a coach. You got to be able to, like you said, go, go back to Roley's fight. You got to be able to get a fight at the right information yeah, yeah. in the moment even though you right here in this corner and you can't see everything guess yeah. what you got as a coach you got to have eyes <laughs> that's, that's like this and you got to have a mind that's turning like that but guess what it can't be turning too fast it can't be oh shit oh shit oh shit it can't be too fast you know what yeah. i mean so just as elite as a fighter hat is the the the, the coach has to be just as elite mm -hmm. and that's my what i said about keith about him out being too smart are you too smart that now you got a coach that's listening to you, or do you have a coach that you're listening to? You know what I mean? I don't. I don't know if there was any anything between him and Dan Birmingham at all. But from what I've seen personally from Dan, he's a good coach. Yeah. But hey, guess what? At some point, you might if you keep Thurman, you may need to make a, a change. Maybe you know that ship has sailed. You know. Mm -hmm. But the fact that he has a younger coach in this fight. Their first time on the big stage like this, <clears throat> I could be wrong, but I think they. Layoff? Yeah, I think I think it was the same coach in this corner when he fought um, the okay. uh, the other guy uh, Mario shoot, Barrios. Mario Barrios, yeah. I think yeah. It, I think it could be it could be the same coach then, but um, it's a it's a younger kid. I don't know how old he is or whatever, but that worries me because mm -hmm. you know I just think that when you when you're at this elite level, you everything around has to be elite. Yeah, and I think worst kind of worst, Keith Thurman got enough knowledge and get he can keep Thurman his way through it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think if something, God forbid, if you ever went back to your corner, and your your coach is not there at all, medical episode, anything. Because I mean, I guess if something happened to your dad, then you, the fight goes on, right? What you talking about? If like you went to the corner, and your dad, and something happened, just. I don't know your dad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to say yeah. nothing because yeah. I don't want to put that out there. Yeah, yeah, no, but yeah, but yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, the fight goes on yeah. and Sean Porter just... Got, <laughs> My dad was going up the steps. Yeah, it's just anything. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. Something like yeah. this. Like, yeah. The fight goes on, but yeah. I think the experience with Keith Thurman, Keith got a plan B, C, D in his head. Uh -huh. And uh, Keith's got the confidence in his head that he's going to outskill this guy and I got too much experience. Anyways, what I can't do in the ring... I can do up here. Mm -hmm. That's what Keith feels mm -hmm. that's going to get him through this fight, but let's not talk on it too much because mm -hmm. we got to preview that next week. Mm -hmm. uh, then we got the... Uh, what We're doing a media day, right? Me, our media yeah. blitz. Yeah, I'll be so ready. Uh, we weeks. already have a schedule, but I'll be ready to give you guys that schedule. That's crazy. Y'all get the schedule when I get it. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> yeah, shout, out to, shout out to my guy that always holds me down with the schedule. Me, right? No, nah, ain't you. I can't even say his name. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, always yeah. throw it in the chat. Yeah, don't yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to him. He said, I can't say his name. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, 52 seconds. We're going to uh, get up out of here. Happy St. Patrick's Day. How many beers you got in you? <laughs> I don't. Somebody asked me. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody asked me this morning. Hey, 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 we got people in the studio. Got... <laughs> they had beers in them from last night. They putting more in them. They had beers for breakfast. <laughs> Boy, people have been out here wilding in Vegas. Hey, your son laughed just like you, man. I really want to. I really want that video on this show. Talk to you. Talk to uh, your lady. You, you, wait, about the one where you couldn't stand up. Oh man, that thing gets me. I don't want you laughing at you. You have videos that you just kind of watch, like oh man, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Watch you know it. how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, you yeah, a video yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's I, that's on my collection. Oh, him just, just him laughing. Yeah, what, man, laughing like, at you. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah when he. It's yeah. just it's beautiful. And yeah, he yeah. just. Like he falls out, he's like he like he can't believe it. Like he's a grown man. You know how people hit how as a, as a two year old you fall out. You can't believe. Like I can't believe he got a Christmas tree. Shirt <laughs> yeah, on. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. Yeah, my man, my man. So my hopefully man's a clown like that, his dad, man. Hopefully we can get that on the show. Uh, yeah. But I got something for y'all. Um, I really don't like getting my boys on the show too often, but. Um, my family in, in general. Yeah. I don't really broadcast too family. much, which is, you know, why I, I gave you the respect of, you know, whether or not you want to show the video that you have. However, 
uh, last week's episode, we talked, we kind of just started the show talking about family. And coming in here today, I, I was like, you know what? Let me let me give the family, give you guys a, 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 a bit of family motivation uh, on this episode. So um, we're going to cut to a video of, of my son and I, and then we'll come back here and we will close this week's show. All right, Diggy, tell us what we got. We got kites up in the air. Kites or a kite? I mean, a kite. Okay. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a face that I don't really know, but it looks familiar to me. Why does it look familiar to you? Because it, it has glasses and it's nervous. It's nervous and it has glasses. Well, who do you know is a nervous kid with glasses? I don't know. What oh. do you know? Well, I don't know. What Whoa. do you... I mean, Look. I know some things. Look, Daddy. It just went in a circle. What? Deep Hold it up. All right, Shadai, we're going to pull it in, okay? okay. This, was a, this was a good day for, for the... Uh, for, for... You say he's nervous? I think he's just confused. Is he confused or is he nervous? Wait, no, whatever you want him to be. Do you want him to be nervous or do you want him to be confused? Nervous. Is he nervous about why he's up there or is he confused about why he's up there? Confused. He's confused about why he's up there? Yeah, and then he was nervous to be up there. Ah, he was confused. Why am I up here? And now I don't know what I'm doing here, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's nervous and confused. There you go. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say peace. Peace out. <laughs> oh, nice little fade right there at the end. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> that faded back into... I'm sorry. I just... I, 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 yeah, he was impressed. Get geeked off that. But yeah, no. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that, man. Um, When you have family, you spend time with family. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll include you in this a little bit, man. Okay. I, I know that family is like... That's your it. Yeah, that's yeah. my it too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I think you, you guys, I, people think that we've known each other like for a very, we've very, grown very up very together. Long yeah, time. and I think that is just because, simply because yeah. we are very similar in a lot of ways. Yeah, um, we have the same type of demeanor. Our like, our um, mindset and our goals and missions in life beyond beyond business, mm -hmm. uh, everything is uh, is very similar. So it's very easy to include you in a conversation about why putting your family before anything is important, mm -hmm. why spending time with your family, doing things that you're going to remember and 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 be able to cherish for a long time is going to uh is important. So I don't know if you have anything, but go ahead if you got anything. Oh uh, with my family it's like that's my why. And if you have anything else <laughs> like a material why or anything like that, you may give up. I can't give up. Can't give up. They, they, I know these people depend on me. Without, without me, certain things won't happen. So, my family is my everything. My, my family. You know, I, some of my friends like you, my, you yourself. You're closer to me than my family because I have a family, mm -hmm. and I, it's not all blood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of it's friends, but mm -hmm. once you're in my family, you know, I'll die for you. Mm -hmm. It just kind of family's very, very important to me. Mm -hmm. Obviously, my immediate family is number one. Then after that, it's just like. Everybody's really, really important to me yeah. and special. And so I said, you know what? Like, what about people who watch this show who uh, don't have family or mm -hmm. lost a relative or, um, you know, or just younger and, you know, all those things? And I was like, you know what? I'll give something to just about everybody that I can that I can think of. If you're young, take your time. It yes. Ain't, it ain't going nowhere. Yeah. You got to find the right person that fits the mode of operation that you want in life and understands you, you understand them. You want to bring as much peace into your life as possible. And I know that's a big thing for you too, mm -hmm. peace. Yeah. And so number one is right there. If you're young, take your time and and real, and, and, and be very uh, aware of who you're spending your time with and make sure that it's worth it. You, you can get money back, you can get cartoons back, you, can get, you can't get time back. Yeah. You, that's the one thing you can't get back. If you are, you already have a family, make sure you're spending time with that family. Make sure uh, everything is intentional. That's one thing I'm learning as a, as a husband and as a father, becoming more intentional about just about everything that I do. 
I actually didn't pull my phone out to do that video so that I could put it on the podcast. I pulled my phone out so that I could do the video so that one day Diggy would be able to see what he did with dad or be able to, you know, hey, let's look mm-hmm. at that video. We we do that from time to time. Mm-hmm. Make those memories and make them count. Make them strong and make them hard. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> important to your kids. It, we, it ain't, it, it, it's beyond just spending time watching the movie. We will watch a movie and we'll pause mm-hmm. and we'll, I will, I pour into my kids life lessons mm-hmm. all the time. I try to make them fun and things like that, but pour into your kids. And if you happen to be someone watching this show that has lost someone and you're dealing with that, it's a hard time. I was dealing with it just last night. Life goes on. Try to stay strong <clears throat> and remember that. Every day that you have, God gives you an opportunity not only to live, but to bless somebody else, to love on somebody else, and to be happy with what you have. Um, just because that person has moved on um, does not mean that person is not there. They're there in your memories. Um, try to uh, have the memories that make you smile, not the ones that make you frown. Have the ones that make you laugh, not the ones that make you cry. And um, make life about family. There's nothing more important than family and love. That's what the portal way is. This is the portal way. Stay blessed.